Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Minecraft series and today's episode is all about how to get your bee farm and how to make an automatic bee farm for those lovely honeycomb blocks and the honey bottles to make honey blocks. So we're starting off today's episode in the house and straight away, yes, um, we got a netherite hoe. <laughs> this is uh, the reason why. Right, yeah, there's one ancient debris. I think the blowing up method works much better. <laughs> I can get up there, that is. Jesus, come on. Why won't it let me get up there, dude? Hey, another one. Let's go. This is definitely probably the easiest way. Just make hella beds, dude. This way. Oh, there's another bit there. Sick. Let's go. How did I miss that, dude? Let's go, that's all we needed. Now, the reason why I wanted this, I wanted to get the advancement for making an Everite hoe, and I wanted a hoe that can shred those buildings it, that we made in the last episode. Those buildings being the Nylium and the Crimson Farm. So, as you can see now, I am getting <laughs> through these blocks very quickly. So, today's episode is literally all about how to get a honey farm. Now, I'm thinking, right, I'm thinking that we put this honey farm somewhere in this direction. I want to make use of the farm nearby, but I want to maybe put it here. So what I'm going to start today's episode with is a lovely... Oh my god, we need to get rid of you, dude. Goodbye. Goodbye forever. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start today's episode by doing some terraforming, I think. I'm going to do some terraforming, so let's get with it. Now, this is my first time using replay mod, so bear with me, guys, bear with me. But obviously, to start the farm, we're going to need bees. Now, I already have a bee in the background over just above my head. <laughs> He's currently attached to the lead. I'm a horrible earner. I know, I know, guys, I know. But we're going to have to go on a hunt for a bee to begin with. So, I know for a fact that they, they're not very likely to spawn in birch forest biome they're unlikely to spawn in there so we're looking basically for beehives so we're gonna go on a little hunt hopefully it won't take us too long I'm probably gonna cut it to where i do find a beehive but again I, they don't really spawn in these sort of biomes so we're gonna have to look in a proper forest biome see if there is one okay so we managed to find one there's one here what we're gonna do we're gonna wait for this guy to hopefully get back in his nest i mean that's, that's the plan. Don't know what he's up to right now. <laughs> I mean, he's taking his time, isn't he? <laughs> Come on, dude. We might have to use a lead on this guy. I don't think he's getting back in his nest anytime soon. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> he's wandering off. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to use a lead. Let's get a lead on this guy. And then he's going to have to come with us on the way home. Now, it is night time. But that's okay. We can make our way home. I believe this is the way home. <laughs> Getting quite scared now. Not going to lie. Okay, yeah. Home's here. Home is here. So, these two are going to stay here for now. I'm going to go ahead and sleep. Wicked. Now we could go on to the materials. Sick. Okay, so the materials. I have behind me a shulker bot. This is the stuff you're going to need. So you're going to need a observer, two redstone dust, a beehive, 
some form of flowers. They could literally be any flower. Hopper, chest, two lever, powered rail. 32 rails, about 32. You don't exactly have to have 32, but as just as a good estimate, 32 rails. Shears, depending if you want honeycomb or glass bottles, if you want honey bottles. Minecart of hopper, dispenser. Now, you don't have to have these exact amounts of materials. It could literally be anything. I've chosen oak log and birch planks because I think it would look nice in the build. And then I've got some glass as well to have a look. So to start with, you want to grab your observer, spencer, redstone, and beehive. Now, I said I'm going to build this around here. So this is exactly what I'm going to do. So first of all, get your beehive. I'm going to place it here. Get your dispenser going into that block. Next, you want to get observer and make sure it's facing down. And then get one of your blocks. So I'm literally just going to get a birch plank place it on top and then like that that is literally the machine that powers the farm literally that is it except i just made a mistake because i just realized that the minecart with hopper is going to go under this so i'm going to tear this all down so i think we're going to do this three up so one two three and then on the third block, this is exactly it. So again, get your beehive, get your dispenser, get your observer. Like that. So now we have something that looks like this. That is going to be the machine that powers the farm. All right, guys. So the next thing you want to do, you want to build a grass platform around this. So you want to put grass all around this. You are very annoying, mate. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, as I said, you want to put a grass platform around this. Now, this technically is another material, but it's not hard to get. You can do this. If you were to build this on a ground without the auto system, you could easily grow this. Otherwise, just get dirt from the grass so it grows. That's literally all you have to do. But make sure you've got a grass platform all around this. You want to put your flowers around just like this. So you have that. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a little enclosure. So I'm going to put blocks all around this, like this. So you have one base around this. And then what I'm going to do from here, on the corners, I'm just going to skip out like this. So I'm putting oak logs on the side like this. You want to go five high from this. So two, three, four, five. Then I'm just going to enclose it with glass all around. Like this. So enclose it with glass. You don't have to use glass, but I am literally just using it just so I can see the bees doing their thing. Now you want to leave a gap. You can enter this thing with the bees, just like that. That's literally all you want to do. Now I'm going to go ahead and make some more. Now I'm going to make some more glass bottles as I want to fill this thing up with honey bottles. So what I'm going to do in the dispenser, I'm going to put all my glass bottles in there like that. And over time, I'll come in again. But what I'm actually going to do is put a door here as well. So door goes in here like that so I can enter the farm if I need to as well as exiting the farm. Next, what you want to do is the source of the farm. Now one of my guys came out here which is very annoying so i'm gonna go ahead and first of all get a flower to try and get this guy to follow me but these two are gonna follow me if you get any sort of flower and you just want to bring them into the new farm that you just built now i'm going to get another flower so i can breed these guys you you the more bees you have the more productive it gets. So I'm going to do three to four. I'll cap it off as six as that. So I don't know if these two are willing to breed. Hopefully. They are. Wicked. So over time I'm going to breed this. But now they'll start doing their thing. They're going to pollinate. So on, so on. So I'm going to leave them like that. Next we could build the underground bit. 
So what I'm now going to do, I'm going to literally build a base under this, like that. Next one you want to do is get your chest, and I'm going to put it on this side. Chest going in here like this side. Next, what you want to do is get a hopper going into the chest, and you want to run a minecart system. So the best way I recommend is doing that, and then get one of your powered rails on this side, as for the other side as well. So same way, you want to put hopper this side, And you just want to do loops like this. Like that. That is literally what you want to do. Now, this is bugging me a little bit. There we go. Then what you want to do is power it. So you could literally use any power source. But I'm just going to do this like that on each side. Literally, that's what I'm going to do. Now, what I do, get a corner like that. And as you can see, it's running under. That is literally what you want to do and over time you can see that it's going to happen. Now I'm going to build their way like that. And I'm going to transform this so this is all hidden so we don't have to see this. Alright guys so this is the finished product. This is now a working automatic honey bottle and honeycomb farm. If you did enjoy this video, then please, please, please hit that like button down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. And if you enjoy this content, hit that subscribe button. Also, I have a Twitch channel. It is twitch.tv slash EzoHD, as well as a gaming Instagram. It is Life of Ezo. So please check out all the social links in the description. I hope you enjoy. See you in the next video, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>